Well, reducing premature birth rates has been a constant effort in the U.S. and especially here in northern Minnesota. On this week's Community Spotlight, hundreds of families came out to support one another and raise funds for research. Our Brenda Mack has more on the March for Babies event in Bemidji. This is our daughter, Lily Grace. She's five years old. My last name is Dawn. And her last name is Dawn. And this is uh, Will and Drew, and they're both three. All together, then our kids weighed eight pounds, 13 ounces. That weight combined is the average weight of one healthy newborn baby. But not every child has that luxury. All three children of the Dodds family were prematurely born. We brought them home so tiny and we were so afraid of them getting sick or something. But now we're in the sandbox and getting dirty and, and things are going good. The Dots call their kids Wednesday Warriors, and this year they are ambassadors for the annual March for Babies event to fundraise and fight preterm births and birth defects. Yet for many families, their kids' fight for survival hasn't been easy. I got sick so I had to have an emergency C-section, and when he was two weeks old, he ended up passing away from neck. And then a couple months later, I got pregnant with this little one. Bridget Lindell is now holding her three-month-old miracle baby girl. She still thinks of her son Andrew every day, but she is pushing through. Right away, I knew that her big brother was watching over her. So that's what I was thinking about and how it just kept me going. You have to be especially strong for them. You, you're their support system. You're here for them and they, they need their parent. The goal of this year is to increase the funds allocated for research. For every dollar raised, they want to portion out 81 cents to the study. It's a three cent increase from today. When I started, one in eight babies was born premature. Now we're one in 10. And so we're seeing the difference. More than $20,000 were raised that day. They are also working to create more support groups for mothers. You know, it can be an emotional day for people, but I just, I really feel like it's a celebration. So come out, celebrate these babies, and let's, let's help them. For this week's Community Spotlight, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. And for more information, check out their website, marchofdimes.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.